You guys are, are inside this uh, dungeon? Just leave. Uh, we're just coming out of it, yep. Mount up one more clear. And new group rally is set. I'm not sure about the blues, but the reds are uh, busy getting their ass kicked at Arius and the other kids northeast. Yep. So we shouldn't worry about the reds. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, uh, for the alien wells, if everyone stacks on it and then one person hits it, we all get it. Yeah, so uh, if everyone wants to group up at the well, do not use it yet. I repeat, do not use it, just uh, circle around it. Gather around, guys. How'd you get up there? Oh. And girls. You said use it? How do you get up there? No, 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 don't use it. Wait till everybody gets close. Get, get <laughs> Alright, using it now. Oh, yeah, that helps. So, what does that do? Health bonus, I think? Yeah. Yes, that was a health bonus. Yeah, Jamie, 2400 health. Whoa, that's a lot. Is this all alien though? Uh, I think they're all different. Uh, but. That one, uh, I could be wrong. But yeah, they all give a little buff like that. Alright, new rally point set. Nice. Is that a permanent? No. It, no, uh, it's lasts until you die. 10, 10 minutes. Oh, 10, 10 minutes? minutes? Oh. Yes, 10 minutes. Okay, no one jump off the cliff. Uh, we're gonna ride down to the left a little bit. There is no stick button in this game, is there? Where you can attach yourself to another player? No. Yeah, there's like no uh, follow like or anything. Auto follow? Yeah. You can? No, you can. 
Oh, that's it. So this is the cave that killed my group back when we first started trying to do this. So, so we'll see how it goes right now. Okay, I'll keep on That healing. memory scarred you, huh? Hey, my bags are full. I need to take a minute to clear them. It didn't scar me, but there were at least one or two people in my guild where this rubbed them wrong enough. There was at least one person who just had a really hard time coming back to the game after it. Like, he didn't leave right away, but just it was like the first... It was the, the big straw. Yeah, it was one that... It was one of them, yeah. And then it was him contacting their support to ask about it and things like that. I gotta be honest, this is the first night I've had fun in the game, so... Compared to some other games. It's really hard to group together at low levels, you know? I just got some purple shoulders. Anybody uh, nice. around level 37 that uses, uses light armor? And Chad will be doing that. Yeah, low level seems like a single player game. Almost. Yeah. At least you don't know how to get to level 10 if you meet up with guildies out here. I had to stop and send uh, Fritz all my mail. Are you leveling up with light armor? Yeah. Uh, yes. I'm wearing five Someone. light and two heavy. Someone just got some purples he's willing to donate. Yeah, they're level yeah. 37, but I can send them to you. What's your uh, name? It's at Chameleon Eyes with a K. Or it's Osha Winterfell. The crazy black hair chick. There's a little book right here. All right, that's a nice. boss right there. Wait. Thunderbug V5. Oh, dart. Everyone hit it. Triple up arrow. Tally ho, onward. Is, did we get the other boss another that's one. up oh. here? Oh. There should be one up to the left here. I don't know if anybody else has their boss meter on. Nah, I already cleared it, but it's not there right now. Uh, yep, you're right. Well, I already cleared this cave. I didn't clear that boss this time. Right, right, yep. Yeah, he's not there right now. That's weird, so they... I mean, I don't... I can't believe another group just rolled through here. No, I think that, that, actually that does one it. takes forever sometimes. I think that usually it does it where they're not all spawned at once, and that oh. as you kill some of the other ones, or you have to actually come in a dungeon multiple times or something. Okay.
Ah, the sky shop is here, huh? It is. I don't know, I gained a half a level. Who wants a chest? If you sent that light armor, thanks, man. No, I haven't yet because I can't find your name and I've been some bugs freaked me out so I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> It's K O M, chameleon eyes. Alright, group up on crown, and we'll hit a uh, maneuver and get out of here nice and quick. Uh, some people are in inventory, hold on. Oh. Sorry. I dumped all the uh, points into a keen eye on this character for my other character. We got maneuver. Oh boy, stuff just respawned on us. Uh, let's go back to the large room and then turn in and fight. I turn and fight here. Put our way back to the other side over here and then we'll do it again. I think that's a wrap for me. Appreciate it. Hopefully, we can do this again. Yeah, um, I'm probably getting good here as well. So we can uh, well, let's ride up to Bloodmain together, uh, and then that's where we'll disband. So let's uh, see how one up to Bloodmain before we uh, split, if that's possible, folks. And uh, okay. obviously, anyone who wants to keep going, uh, a group of four can easily do this. What's that fire spell? Which one? The, the ball of fire that just keeps the wave of fire. That's pulsar. This one? So yeah, that, that one. That's pulsar. It's uh... It's destruction stuff. It's destruction stuff, one. yes. Nice. That's one of the AOE's most efficient one. Are you playing a Dragon Knight? Uh, no, it's a Templar, this one. Very nice. Not that great of a Templar, I'm still doubling with points. Attribute points or skills. But it does a good job. And that's a destruction staff, huh? Yeah, that's destruction stuff. I, right now I'm running Destro and Resto, destruction and restoration stuff on it. 
Very nice. I'm running those because a lot of times I've kind of uh, uh, solo, like most of the times. Pause here. Questing and stuff. All right, so we are at a resource camp for anyone who's new out here. Uh, keep has three resource camps. Uh, there's farm, lumber mill, and mine. We're at the mine. Each of them give passive bonuses to the owner of the keep if that faction owns them. So it is easier to capture three resources and take the keep because the NPCs will be easier to kill, they'll have less health, the walls will have less health, especially when you take the mine. Um, so it's good to do that. Getting good at taking resources is important out here. Um, typically the best strategy is to uh, follow the crown, is to come around to the back of the tower here, to the side, and then you'll notice, as we slowly move towards the flag, the first thing that will happen is you'll notice that there's a mage up on the tower. So look above my character, and you'll notice that there's a ledge, and there's a mage up there. That's the prime, the first primary target. So range DPS comes into play at the, in taking resources. So damage is focused on him, and usually your tank will kind of step forward and hopefully get aggro and can block and absorb his damage. That mage drops a pool that really quickly drops low-level groups like ours <laughs> so if you can't kill them fast enough there's gonna be a giant red pool on the ground so that's where it's good having a tank off to the side that where they're the only person who might die and they're able to kind of roll out of it and soak up the damage and get heals when you attack that person usually the two guys underneath him are pulled so they're just managed by the people on the ground and you kind of CC them and then take them out once you take down the mage while you're doing that, you want to stay out of the range of the people on the flag. They all shoot fireballs that do loads of damage. So you want to stay back about where I'm standing right now. This is maybe just the edge of their range. So you actually want to stay even back here. So keep an eye on them as you're attacking the mage and the other guys, because if you wander up here too far, they will start just blowing you out. Um, so you want and then uh, everyone, so once the guy up top and the two guys at the stairs are down, then everyone wants to do a coordinated charge to the flag. And if that's where it negate, um, sorcerers negate is a fantastic ultimate. It just stuns all of them. You can just charge into your AoEs, the Pulsar that you saw Elendil doing, Banner, yes, for Dragon Knight, uh, for Templars, Nova, or even the healing one isn't too bad, depending, but Nova will get it faster. The point of having everyone on the flag is that the flag will start flipping even before you kill the NPCs. So it is possible to capture the resource without actually killing the guards, um, as long as you're standing on the flag. So I've actually, I've actually done it. Like I've seen a battle where people, where there's literally a 12 on 12 battle on top of the flag and we pushed the enemy just off of the mound of the flag. So we flipped the resource and then our new guards started killing them. And then they actually charged back in and they recaptured it, and then we recaptured it again. <laughs> it was insane, it was a really fun fight. I would like um, to also add to that, um, if you take an enemy keeps resources, they cannot uh, transport there. Yes, that's another great yeah. point. So when you put a keep underneath attack, they can't travel to it, the transitus uh, shrine path is broken, or like uh, was just said, yeah, if you capture all three resources, it does effectively the same thing. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and ride into the keep. We can start wrapping up. But yep, that's resources 101. Um, hopefully we'll get the chance to do that as a group sometime here. Um, I do want to point out again, we're, I'm hoping to have a Thursday event, and this is the kind of thing that we would do at that event. Uh, just something that it's going to be beneficial to as many people as possible. Um, something where it's going to be leveling people up, doing skill points, doing achievements, doing four-man dungeons, like the zone dungeons, if that's something people want to do. Um, so it's supposed to be a flexible event, but just something where we can just do something productive that's not uh, quite as structured and premeditated as the uh, mandatory event. Um, taking keeps is a lot more complicated. We'll go over that another time. <laughs> what time are you proposing this event to be on Thursday? Uh, 8 o'clock Eastern time. It is actually on the events page. If you open up TA and just go to your events page, or it should be on just home when you're logged in, and you should see it uh, on the events list. And it will have, have your time listed for it. 
Right, so the way you get back to the home base is you'll see a transitor shrine surrounded by mages, and that's where, and that's the transitor shrine in each cube. And where do you go, the east one then? Uh, yeah, and then to that's get back where the main. To the, okay. Yeah, so to get out to the main world, you can go to either of the Ellswear gates on the bottom of the map, and then there's a way shrine up the hill from the transitor shrine, and you use that to travel back to the normal world. And then to get back in here, you open up, you hit L and open up the panel, the war panel from there to get back into a campaign. So in order to get buffed continuously, you have to be registered with a campaign? Uh, yes, there are buffs for having uh, the Elder Scrolls. So you'll see that there's scroll icons on some keeps. That's because they house an Elder Scroll. If you own the scrolls, you get, your, you get buffs that apply anywhere, even in PvE. And so if you're so if you were to set Hatteras to your home faction for your home campaign, um, then you would have a, all of the scroll buffs since we have all of them in Hatteras. Um, so that would be a good idea for an alternate character if you're not going to be out here much and just uh, and leveling a lot. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks for all the info tonight. It's been quite a lesson. Yeah, that was good fun. Yeah, this was a good night. Yeah, thank you.